Ducey. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. And I just apologise to the young children in the gallery at the debating chamber this afternoon that had to sit through and listen to that negativity and the cynicism, because on this side of the House, we're positive. And the first thing I'd like to do as we draw an end to 2015 is to acknowledge the hard work of all New Zealanders. It's the New Zealanders that have brought this country back to a surplus. It's the New Zealanders that have caused this country to have the highest workforce participation on record. And it's the New Zealanders who have allowed this country to have a forecasted positive GDP growth. That's the envy of all other OECD countries. And it's those New Zealanders, Mr Speaker, that we are supporting with these RMA reforms. Because on this side of the House, we back New Zealanders, and we know they can do more, and we want to support them. But before I go on, Mr Speaker, first of all, I want to thank this national government on behalf of all Waimakariri residents for the new Rangiora Hospital that was opened last week. It was an honour to have the Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman come in and open the new Rangiora Health Club, Health Hub, a North Canterbury Health Hub that will be seen as the gold standard of health services across rural communities. And it must be embarrassing for people like the Honourable Annette King, Clayton Cosgrove, who was the Labour candidate at the time, who stood outside the old Rangiora Hospital and said, this will not go ahead. This government is not going to fund the Rangiora Hospital. Fast forward yes, less than a year later, and we open up this fantastic world-class facility for regional New Zealand, for North Cantabrians. And this is part of a bigger picture, Mr Speaker. We're rolling out $900 million, the biggest hospital rebuild program that New Zealand's ever seen, building Christchurch Public, Burwood and Rangiora Hospital. And Mr Speaker, what we're doing is backing Canterbury post-earthquakes. As we know, uh, the Canterbury recovery is one of the top four priorities. We have got the Earthquake Recovery Minister at number three, our next Canterbury Minister at number seven. And what does Labor do when they have a reshuffle? Their first Canterbury MP is number 10. That's what they think of Canterbury, the second biggest economy in the regions, the second biggest by population, and they put their first Canterbury uh, MP at number 10. They're not sticking up for Canterbury. They're not sticking up for Cantabrian's recovery, Mr Speaker. What we're also doing, Mr Speaker, is supporting housing. And there's a lot of lessons out of the earthquake recovery. We know with the land use recovery plan, we freed up land, we increased supply, and that equaled demand. And as we know, with the Treasury forecast, we're heading towards a housing surplus in Canterbury. And they're real lessons that are informing this RMA bill, Mr Speaker. If you look at annual house price inflation across New Zealand at around over 10 per cent, Canterbury about five and a half, and WiMAC at three and a half. We're the third fastest growing electorate, the third biggest populated region in the South Island, but only three and a half per cent annual house price inflation. And that proves what the Productivity Commission said, that tight regulation of land increases house, house prices. And we know it's up to local councils under this RMA bill that will allow them to match the need of residential growth to land needs, Mr Speaker. And what we do know with the KiwiSaver Home Start package, Mr Speaker, in the first six months, 122 families of my electorate have qualified for that and gone on and bought their first home. Over $550,000 worth of grants for that scheme going into young families in the WIMAC. And that should be celebrated, incentivising builders to build houses under 450k, which is the cap, and delivering affordable housing, Mr Speaker. It's been a great year in the WIMAC, Mr Speaker. New beginnings, openings and milestones. 
We've opened the Ringyora Town Hall, the Oxford Town Hall, the Kaipoi Ruatanifa Civic Centre, the hospital, the Ashley Bridge. We've started $300 million worth of roading improvements. It's growing great, great guns, Mr Speaker. And thank you to all New Zealanders on behalf of all Cantabrians for supporting us through this difficult time. And with your indulgence, Mr Speaker... <laughs>